oh, here she is. There we go. You're on mute. You're on mute. Mute. Oh, there we yeah. go. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I caught another meeting. What are we talking about? Okay, fab, no problem. Okay, right, guys, today is storyboarding day and decision day. Everybody's picking their strongest idea and they are going forward with that. It's really important. Whatever you do when interviewing people, remember to ask them about the bin, 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 bin. As she froze in. Emer. Emer. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to day three of our 2020 Innovation Festival. I hope you're having fun as well, and I hope your sprint leads are getting you up and doing a bit of boogieing and you're dancing and enjoying yourself. Don't forget to have a bit of fun. It's been a fantastic week so far. I can't believe where the time's going. Um, we've had a couple of days that have just been jam-packed full of energy, fun. Today is decision day. The sprint methodology is a little bit of a roller coaster ride for everybody. There are highs, there are lows. They have got lots of different solutions, but now it's a real toughie. They've got to choose the one that they think is really going to make the biggest difference and actually decide that they're going to take this one forward into a storyboard and then have a plan for prototyping. So this is, this is a pretty big curve then in the whole week. Yeah, this is a pivotal point for the teams, uh, having to decide. There'll be split decisions. I'm sure that there'll be, you know, lots of, you know, heated discussions going on. We've managed to narrow down our two customers. So someone who's living alone, as well as someone with mild cognitive disorder. We've got two great ideas for that, um, culminating in kind of a smart hub, as well as a smart board for the customer to interact with. Um, so we're really looking forward to developing those further. Um, it was super to have Neil Malarkey in this morning, just to get creativity flowing. And we're looking forward so much to getting these ideas finalised and having some great outcomes at the end of the week. What we've done in the sprint, because some of the other sprints are working on isolation in the home, it turns out it's kind of the key theme. We're now focusing on technology that can help our field-based people stay safe and alert when they're out in the field. So when they're working by themselves, where no one's there to tap them on the shoulder and say, you're having a, a bad day or you slow down, um, this technology will hopefully sort of indicate to them that they're fatigued or tired and they may need to take a break and stop what they're doing to try and keep them safe. So that's what we're trying to get to today. So far, our real insights have come from using the design thinking process and particularly from detailing um, personas and starting to look at empathy um, maps and pain points. So what we're starting to really think is thinking the perspective of our users. And for us, that is giving us so much rich insight that we're going to use to kick off a major review of our resourcing and recruitment approach. We've had uh, people from over 30 countries getting involved with the event. We've got active teams in India, in North America, in Australia and we've been checking with them and the Miro board is just brilliant because you'll go to bed and in the morning everything has changed there's new things on there and it's actually made the teams quite competitive which is really good because they're obviously wanting to out, out idea out innovate each other so it's uh, created an amazing spirit and the digital tools have actually lended itself very nicely to making that happen. Yeah I'm getting text messages from my from my colleagues sort of going Oh, I've seen this brilliant idea in this sprint, and so the, the the portents are good. So maybe in a few years there'll be the innovation of past innovation festivals, and you could like bring everything back again and reanalyze. Who knows? That's a kind of like a greatest hits album. I yes. like that idea because I won't <laughs> I won't have to think very hard about it actually either. So. I always okay. think when bands put those albums out, well, that's kind of cheating, isn't it? I mean, you, you know, but but on reflection. I, I quite like the idea of being able to do that myself now. 